Hello, I'm Mark Taylor and welcome to episode 15 of the Akin Guitar Workshop videos. Today we're going to take a little pause and I'll share with you a little update about us and what we're up to, particularly with sharing of these videos um, based on what we've done over 14 episodes and what we've heard from you um, and what we've got planned for the next three, six months through the year as well. So that's what we're going to do today. This started after I left the London School of Furniture. I built guitars in my garage for a while, and 25 years later, there are now 10 of us building our own brand of unique guitars out of our workshop in Canterbury. So since January, when we shared our first episode, we've shared 14 episodes with you, and we've covered a whole lot of ground. We've taken you through how we do some of the micro work, um, how we brace guitars, how we bend guitars, how we set them up. Um, we've really taken you deep down some of those rabbit holes, and we've also shared with you some of our finished guitars coming off the production line as we can see next to me here. Um, this lovely shiny gold top guitar, um, Lawrence and Alistair have taken some time sharing with you the progress of our electric guitar development. Um, we've really covered a lot of ground and for any of you who haven't had the opportunity to dive into those episodes yet, there's a whole library of stuff there and insight into our workshop. So we're three months into this now as we come into April and we're looking at what we've produced um, and we're looking at what we're going to produce next. We've loved your feedback, we've loved hearing from you all that you're enjoying the videos um, and we find those amongst you are enjoying different videos for different reasons. Some people love the geeky detail of explaining how to make a guitar, um, others of you, understandably, no interest in that whatsoever and you like seeing the blingy guitars at the end of the process um, and seeing the outcome. From our point of view, we really love sharing what we do, we really love hearing how you receive it. Um, and we want to make sure that as we continue making these videos, we're making relevant content and we're not just producing content for the sake of producing it. So with that in mind, over the next few months, we're going to change our approach and rather than sharing with you a weekly long form video, um, we're going to share perhaps more frequently with you, um, but much shorter form of content. So what we've heard from you is that you like what we're doing, but you'd love to have it in bite-sized chunks rather than having to commit to sitting down listening to 20 minutes and covering a whole load of topics. So we're going to make shorter videos. We're going to make those available on YouTube. Um, so you better dive directly into a topic that interests you. And we're going to support that with lots of even shorter style videos. I think we call them reels and such like that will be shared via the Instagram and TikTok. Um, we want to keep sharing content that you're interested in watching and listening to. So we'd love to hear from you if you've watched some of our videos or even if you haven't. If there's things you want to know about our world, let us know. From our point of view, we had one objective when we came at this in January, is we wanted to give a really warts and all pretense free insight into a guitar workshop in England. Uh, feel like we've stuck to that and over the episodes that have been shared with you, hopefully you can see um, who we really are and how we really get along day to day making guitars. So we're going to keep that as our focus as we continue sharing the content. Um, but we want to give you what you're asking for. So it's going to be shorter form, potentially more frequent. And we'll try and keep the balance as we have done in the episodes of some workshop antics and shenanigans, some insights into the guitars, um, and also taking you through some of the how-tos. Going forward, we won't be running on a weekly schedule, but there will be a lot of content from us. If you want to make sure you get in that content as soon as it's released, encourage you as best we can to click on that subscribe button on the YouTube channel and also keep an eye on our social media and Instagram, Facebook and we're beginning to TikTok. I'm not sure if that's a verb yet but we're getting down the road of TikToking. So before we conclude today's video um, we know you like seeing our guitars so we thought we wanted to show you one that we think is really special and this is the second gold top guitar to leave our production line and it was a really relevant guitar to talk to you about today because we produced a gold top guitar um, we'd never seen one as in an acoustic style prior to producing one maybe about four weeks ago which we shared in one of our episodes the feedback we had from you was a really pleasant surprise um, so I guess your feedback told us we were on to something um, so we've made another one and we've got a whole number of others coming through the production line as well so your feedback we do hear it and it reassures us that these aren't just personal obsessions they're things that actually you guys really like and you really enjoy so the value of your feedback really is evidenced by this thing sitting here because I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be here had we not shared the L36 gold guitar with you all and had the response we had. So that's one of our guitars and if there's something to tell you your feedback's worthwhile, it's physical and it's sitting right next to me so we really wanted to share that with you today. The other guitar I've got to my right hand side, um, I think I saw Alistair wandering around so I'm going to collar Alistair to yeah. come and 
talk to us about this painful oh. beauty. Yeah. But please yeah. don't touch it. No, it's, it's it's Phil said wet. he will kill us if right. he touches. <laughs> Hiya, um, Alice Drack in here. So this is really cool, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We we've been working with Ian Ward, who, who's a local artist, but he happens to paint for the Fender Custom Shop regularly as well. And um, what's really cool is that I was looking at some of his work and thinking, oh, I'd love to get this guy involved. And um, when I messaged him, it turned out he was in England and I was surprised to see that. Uh, and then uh, we started talking and it turned out he's like 20 miles down the road. So uh, we've decided Ian should never be without one of our guitars to paint. And um, so this is one of the first ones he's done. I think maybe, have you done two or three? I think this might be the third, the third one. Um, and the flamingo on this looks brilliant. Um, he's done a cracking job. We've had a lot of inquiries about this already. Uh, it's a particularly famous artist that is on the cards for this. And if that happens, we'll tell you all about that. But um, first, he's going to have to wrestle it from both our wives. Yeah, yeah our <laughs> wives were both like, uh, "Oh, can we put that on the wall at home?" And uh, I was, like, "No, no, don't. I'll take a picture of it. We'll put it on. <laughs> we'll put that on the wall." <laughs> so, um, yeah. Keep an eye on this, we'll, a couple of weeks time this will be ready and we'll do another video update and, and really go into detail over it. Um, but yeah, that's the Flamingo Triple O. This year we've really decided that we want to try to, to make as many different styles and have, have, really have fun of, of, over what we're doing. So we're throwing stuff out there, loads of people seem to be, some people hate some of these things, some people love them, but we're finding in England we've got this term um, it's like Marmite. Now Marmite is uh, a sort of thing you spread on your toast and it's really salty and some people hate it and other people love it. So we're finding that's what we're getting with these sorts of guitars but we're really enjoying it and I think people are enjoying seeing what we're doing. So yeah, please keep, keep telling us what you like and what you don't like.